Hello there. So you're facing a problem which con constantly says Valorant Direct X runtime error. So this is the only video you'll ever need to watch on the internet. So watch the video to the end. I'm going to give you so many ways you can go ahead and fix this problem. So let's get straight into the video. First things first, what I want you to do is go ahead and launch your Riot client. And once you've la launched your Riot client, make sure you are logged in or signed in into your account. Once you're signed in, what you want to do is go ahead and click on your icon on the top right, click on settings, go to Valorant and click on repair. Make sure that your Valorant files are repaired. Once it is repaired, you can try to launch back in and if it still doesn't work, what I want you to do is go ahead into a browser and simply search for direct X end user runtime. Just like that and click on the first link right over there and go ahead and download it. And once you've downloaded it, go ahead and run it on your PC. Just like that, I accept, next, and go ahead and install it. As you can see, the new or equivalent version of DirectX has been installed. There you go. Finally, once you've done that, go ahead and try to launch back in. If that still doesn't work, go to add or remove program. Scroll all the way down until you find Vanguard. So there's Vanguard right there. Go ahead and uninstall that from your PC and click on yes. Once it is removed from your PC, try launching Valorant and it's, what it's gonna do is it's gonna open Riot Client and it's gonna tell you to reinstall Vanguard right over here. So just click on update and it's gonna go ahead and start installing Vanguard and your problem should be fixed. If it still isn't, then what I want you to do is go ahead into run just like that and simply search for app data and go ahead into local and go ahead into Riot Games. So it should be somewhere around here. There it is. So simply go ahead and open it. Go ahead and open Valorant and there's going to be a folder called HTTP cache. Just go ahead and delete that. And you can also potentially delete the, the data uh, file and it's still not going to go ahead and do anything to it. All right. So I hope doing all of that has definitely helped you fix your problem. Also, try to go ahead and uninstall and reinstall your Valorant as well. And finally, go ahead and have a NVIDIA app on your PC and try to go ahead and update your uh, graphics driver as well. So by doing all that, I know for a sh I know for a fact that it's going to go ahead and solve your problem. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, definitely hit that like button. And if you have any other queries, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.